Today, we are covering Bernadetta. So why is Bernadetta best girl? Look at this hot mess. Please don't hurt me! Please don't touch me! Don't say stuff like that! Let me down! Let me down! I thought I might die! I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit! I didn't mean it! How could this little gremlin that scours and scavenged the dorms of Garrick Mock possibly be considered best girl? People say they get annoyed of her supports. They feel so same-like. This skittery bug does nothing but whine and complain. Personally, I think we're like Chopper and Usopp from One Piece. Though they may be scaredy cats, they sure as hell can come in clutch. Trust me, remember I said she was like Chopper and Usopp. They always come through in the end. Bernie is best with the bow. Felt like when I was playing through, she was always getting a crit. However, on the battlefield, I felt like I had to take care of her a lot, like Linhart here. Both of them could talk at great lengths about despising the battlefield. They both want nothing more than to be left at their own accord. Personally, I just felt worried about them. My Bernie instincts are tingling. Bernie's in trouble! You dare attempt to harm my precious body, you scum! Destroy. So fun fact about Bernadetta. But after the release of Fire Emblem Three Houses, her beast support with Byleth was censored and changed. It stirred critics and onlookers which made people speculate that it could have been changed because of that. It was the one where Bernie explains her backstory and why she acts the way she does. Essentially they made it less harsher by taking out a few words. They said it was to match the Japanese version more. Even if that's the case, I, I still prefer the original. My father is obsessed with money. He's only ever seen me as bait for a rich husband. To train me to be a good, submissive wife, he'd do things like tie me to a chair and leave me there all day, challenging me to stay quiet. I tried hard to do as he asked. Honestly, I did. But before I knew it, I just couldn't bring myself to leave my room anymore. I like the original because it gave us a glimpse into her mindscape. How she perceives the events that transpired in her eyes. As I see it, word choice matters. Out of all the words she used, she used those ones. You can only imagine how that must be a small fraction of what she went through. The old version just gave more weight to her backstory, with just a little subtle, insy tiny sprinkle of context from her perspective added so much weight. It made me more invested in her. Her beast support conversation just hit me deep inside this crevice of a husk I call a human shell. I enjoyed the antics she got into with her fellow companions. It was entertaining. I personally feel as if she was one of the few that I really got to know when I was playing through the game for the first time. It gave context to the insecure, skittery, and anxious little gremlin she is. Why she desires to stay in her room, is so afraid of the world around her and wants nothing more than her peace and quiet alone time. After learning more about her, it made me want to root for her in whatever she does. No matter how ridiculous she may act from our eyes, that's our Bernie. I've evolved from my initial time with Bernadetta. Initially, I was like everyone. I laughed at her antics. However, now, I laugh with her. Now, I suggest you do the same, and appreciate this little gremlin for what she is. Best girl. So, Bernadetta, how does it feel to be officially declared best girl? Ah, no, wait, Bernie, come back! Oh no, not again! Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Have a nice day. Still too hot.